are you all doing this morning? Seem like we're a little tired. Let's shake it out. How are we all doing this morning? That is better. Everyone, welcome back to the 2023 Indiana Robotics Invitational. We had a fantastic day yesterday filled with some exciting high-octane matches, and we couldn't be more excited for what you're going to be able to do today. We can't wait to see your robots doing their thing on the field. We can't wait to see your gracious professionalism in the pit. And we are so, so excited for our elimination round later this afternoon. We know it's going to be some incredible matches because we've already seen 68 incredible matches yesterday. Now, we know that we have four countries represented here today. It's excellent to have so many teams coming from all around the world to help compete here in Lafayette. So I want to give a shout out to our teams from Canada. And let's hear it for our team from Israel. And we can't forget our team coming all the way from Mexico. And of course, we have teams from all over the United States of America. Now, we have plenty of veteran teams here. Like we mentioned yesterday, many teams competing here today have been at IRI for over 15 years, but we also have 15 teams competing for the very first time here at IRI. Can we hear it for all of our IRI rookies this morning? Awesome. Well, we've got a couple special events and announcements that we want to share with you all this morning before we give out a couple of awards that we are really excited to share. So first off, we want to remind you all about the silent auction that's taking place up on the mezzanine. That charity auction is going to be benefiting Riley's Children's Hospital and their mental health and behavioral services programs for youth in need. If you haven't seen it already, there are some incredible items donated by teams, volunteers, and supporters. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the scale model of our charged up field with hundreds of 3D printed game elements. It's pretty cool, and there's a lot of amazing things up there. We are going to be holding that auction until after lunch, and we are going to be ending the silent auction during the elimination round. So, if you haven't had a chance, make sure to get on up there and bid, bid, bid on some cool items to support charity. Next up, we have a couple housekeeping items to share with you all. First, concessions are available today just as they were yesterday. You can get concessions indoors up on the second floor where there's all sorts of sodas, pops, baked potatoes, and hot dogs. And weather permitting, we may have famous IRI grilled corn later in the day. We're going to have to see, though. That rain is not looking good for our corn chances. We'll update you later if they're able to get set up. Additionally, we want to remind you all of the severe weather plan that was shared by Micah, my other co MC. In the event of severe or inclement weather that requires us all to shelter in place, we need to move to the ground floor academic center. To do that, we'll need to calmly use the stairs and follow signs to the cafeteria and or quiet room that will get us to that area. We know there's a lot of rain. We probably won't need to take these steps, but it's important we're aware of them just in case. Finally, one last housekeeping detail. As you probably have heard, either on Chief Delphi or among the murmurs, we're going to be trying something a little bit different with our alliance selection here at IRI this year. 
we are going to be implementing a shot clock for picks during alliance selection, and we're going to see how things go. It's important that you know the details of that heading into the alliance selection, so we have poster boards available in the pit with those stipulations. Additionally, you can also find a post on Chief Delphi where all of the rules are spelled out. We're hoping that these rules can help make alliance selection a quicker process while also providing benefits to teams in forms of additional practice time if they're able to be quick with their picks. So make sure to look up those rules on the poster boards or Chief Delphi and make sure that you are preparing your picking team to be able to make quick picks instead of leaving them hanging here waiting for a text message as they're sweating it out. Now, I have one last group I want to highlight before we go into talking some awards, and those are our organizers for IRI. If you have any questions during the event, concerns, or comments that you want to share, please take an opportunity to speak to one of our four lead organizers for IRI. You can talk to Chris Foltz, you can talk to Andy Baker, you can talk to Jeff Smith, or Brian Batag. They're all working together to plan IRI. Can we get a away from those organizers. Thank you for all the hard work you've been doing this season to plan IRI. Now, speaking of Alliance Selection, we've got some incredible teams in our rankings, and I want to give a shout out to our current top five who are very likely to be doing some picking later this afternoon. Currently fifth place in our rankings, our team's 4143 Mars Wars. Currently in fourth is 2910 Jack in the Box. In third is 2539 Krypton Cougars. In second, we've got Ratchet Rockers, Team 1706. And in first, it's 245 Atom Bots. After we end our qualification matches this morning, we're going to be taking a very short 15 minute break before we move into alliance selection. So, like we mentioned earlier, make sure that you are all working on your pick list and practice saying, We graciously accept. But with that, it's now time to give out a couple IRI awards. So I'd now like to invite forward some of the organizers of IRI to help present these awards to our winners. The first award that we have to give this morning is the IRI Volunteers of the Year Award. For the 2023 IRI, we needed a space that would be convenient for teams and be able to host a 70-team event. When we asked the mentors from the Lafayette Jeff team if this facility would be available, they quickly determined yes. Over the past months, they have worked closely with the IRI planning team to help coordinate and facilitate a great IRI. We would like to recognize Brian Batag and Jill Rubaka from Team 1646 and Jefferson High School as the 2023 IRI Volunteers of the Year. Come on down. Unfortunately, Brian's not here this morning, so accepting for both will be Jill. Our next award is the IRI First Foundations Award. The IRI First Foundations Award recognizes a person who has made an impact on FIRST in Indiana. As a student in high school, this individual helped their team win the website award at almost every event they attended, including the FIRST Championship. They used their skills to create the first, FIRST Indiana FIRST website 
building a foundation as we grew into a district. They developed and coordinated the team application process for IRI. And now, they are improving and maintaining the website to make it a home for everything IRI. Congratulations go to former 234 student David Kelly as the 2023 IRI First Foundations Award recipient. David is not here this weekend, so we're going to be asking his dad, Kevin Kelly, to accept his award. Whoops. There's a lot to manage to get in that photo, but make sure we get a link here on the trophy. There we go, congratulations. Thank you for accepting the award for David. Next up, we'll recognize the IRI Mentor of the Year. The IRI is filled with great mentors from great teams. Each year, we recognize one of these mentors based on student essays that you all submitted. Thank you all for your great essays. The winning mentor is in his eighth year with the team. He supports students in CAD and CNC milling. He has implemented performance reviews to help students set and achieve their goals. He has been instrumental in a new robotics center for their team. Congratulations go to this dynamite mentor, Phil Coons from Team 2481 Roboteers. All right, let's get another round of applause here. And finally, we are now thrilled to announce four recipients of IRI scholarships. Just as with these other awards, if you're announced as a scholarship recipient, we'd love you to come on down to grab a plaque and get a photo. Since 2004, we have awarded over $129,000 in college scholarships to 77 students. And today, we add to that total. Thank you to our sponsors, Andy Mark and Cross the Road Electronics, as well as First Indiana Robotics for helping make these scholarships possible. From Andy Mark, our first $1,000 scholarship goes to Annalise Goodman from Team 111. Next, from Cross the Road Electronics, a $1,000 scholarship goes to Arnav Shaw from Team 226. Next up, from First Indiana Robotics, we have another $1,000 scholarship, which will be going to Abigail Esmeyer from Team 930.
who may be in their pit based on the looks I'm getting from their team mentors. Looks like they may be in the pit, so we'll have to hang on to that for a little bit later. Thank you. Can we get another round of applause for Abigail, though? And our final scholarship from the IRI host teams. This $1,000 scholarship is going to Quinn Pfeiffer from Team 2910. And we've got Abigail from Team 930, so let's all give her a round of applause and grab her her plaque. Congratulations. And with that, those are all of the awards and scholarships we have to give today. So please join me in congratulating all of our award winners and scholarship recipients one last time. But with that, we have come to the close of our Saturday opening ceremonies. We have got almost 50 more qualification matches to play this morning, an alliance selection to get through, and an elimination round that I'm sure will leave us all in awe. So with that, good luck everyone, bring out your hard-earned gracious professionalism, and have a fantastic day here at the Indiana Robotics Invitational. Teams in our first match of the day, come on down, power up those robots, and let's make today awesome. Good luck, everyone.